I don't anticipate that taking the entire nine hours, but it's based on for Q and A's. <clears throat> I don't think I'll be able to finish the second chapter. In fact, I know I won't be able to finish the second chapter in um, uh, in the remaining of today's class and one more class. So rather than leaving it in between and and then trying to recap, uh, I'll start it when I come back. But I'll. Uh, We'll take this opportunity also. We didn't uh, we didn't get a good break between the first and the second canto. Also, any other questions, comments, or any other discussions? We can do that on uh, we can do that on Wednesday. Well, this service is provided by Freak. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Please enter your PIN followed by the pound or hash. Om Namo Thank you. There is one host in this conference. Our uh, conference recording has started. Narayanam Namaskrityam Naram Chayva Narottamam Devim Saraswatim Vyasam Tato Jaya Udhiraya Nashta Prayesha Badreshu Nityam Bhagavata Sevaya Bhagavati Uttam Shloke Bhaktir Bhavati Nayashtiki Kumagyana Tamaranda Sayagyana and Jana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tas my Shiguru Venama Nama Om Shubadaya Kshabrishai Bhutale Shmati Bhakti Vedanta Swami Tanamane Namaste Saraswati Devi Gauravani Vasharane Nirvishesha Shunavati Pashadi Shakarane Mukam Kuruti Vachana Bangam Nagate Girin Yatripatam Mandi Shri Guru Dinatanam Parmananda Madhavam. So we are resuming from 2135. Vikyan Shak different meters. Vikyan Shaktim Mahimam Nati. Sorry. Vikyan Shaktim Mahimam Nanti. Sarvat Manoantaha. Karanam Giritram Ashwashvatriostra Gajana Kani Sarve Mraga Paschavaha Shroni Deshi. The principle of matter, Mahatatva, is the consciousness of the omnipresent Lord as asserted by the experts. And Rudra Dev is his ego. The horse, mule, camel, and elephants are his nails. And wild animals and quadrupeds are situated in the belt zone of the Lord. So this is an ongoing description of the Virat Roop. So when we are studying this, the the important thing to keep in mind is the principle behind behind this, which is uh, seeing Krishna in matter. Uh, Srila Prabhupada does not have a purport um, on this, and neither does Vishwanath Chakravarti. Um, and if we were to, and I, I'm to some extent I'm speculating, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's the reason that these verses are supposed to be taken at face value. Um, if, if they were to be analyzed, then the analysis would have to become very exhaustive. And uh, the, the advantages of that would be, given the fact that Bhagavatam is essentially a book for devotees, the advantages for that would be questionable. So for instance, somebody might say, that you know why are only the horse mule camel and elephant the nails but the, the quadrupeds quadrupeds are animals with with four legs now we know that the horse the mule the camel and the elephant they are also quadrupeds so what's the basis of that um <clears throat> so what what's the basis of that of that distinction. Now, 
I think this Prabhu has to mute the call, mute his um, Krishna mood. Yeah, thank you. So, <clears throat> so you know, one might one might want one might want to develop uh, try to develop an, a logical understanding, and it's beyond the scope. Now, it does not mean that these statements are incorrect. The statements. You know, if if there is enough analysis that is done, the statements will actually be validated. And Vishnu Chakravarti Thakur does that in one of the verses to 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 make that point. But for the most point, he and Shila Prabhupada and most of the acharyas, they're quite uh, about it, because essentially these statements are for. Uh, 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 they're, they're, they're for a certain purpose. They are there for the ability of, uh, uh, they're there for the ability of us to see uh, spirit in, in, uh, in matter. So, so that's what I would, I would ask you to keep, keep in mind. Um, both the things is, one is to uh, understand that these verses are correct. And as Srila Prabhupada says in the purport, in the earlier purport, that uh, any apparent contradictions should only be attributed to our lack of sufficient understanding at, at the time. So if you approach it with this mood, it will be easier for us to, to, uh, to proceed. Okay. So this was 2.135, 2.136. Yam sitad vyakaranam vichitram manur manisha manujo nivasha gandharva vidyadhara charanap saraha swarasmriti rasura nika viryaha. Varieties of births are indication of his masterful artistic sense. Manu, the father of mankind, is the emblem of his standard intelligence and humanity is his residence. The celestial species of human, human beings like the Gandharvas, Vidyadharas, Charans and angels all present his musical rhythm. And the demoniac soldier are representation of his wonderful prowess. And so Srila Prabhupada in the purport he brings attention to one aspect of this comparison, that the, the humanity is his resting place. So he says that human society is the residential quarters of the Lord. This means that the human being is meant for God realization and association with God. So Srila Prabhupada is extending this, this analogy that uh, one lives in one's residential quarters. So if human beings are the residential quarters, that means Krishna lives in the human beings, which means that the purpose of the human form of life is to realize this association. Um, Srila Prabhupada, in a lecture on this verse, he, he makes this point. So everything in nature has to give something. That is the order. Everything that we see, Nadia, the river, why has God created the river? It has got a function. It must give water. Similarly, samudra, the ocean must preserve the water. Similarly, the hills, mountains, griha, samanaspati, vegetables, all these vegetables which are growing, each and every vegetable creeper has to do some purpose. We do not know. So again, Prabhupada is extending this to make the point, the Ishavasya principle, that everything is there for a certain purpose and everybody has a certain quota to, to, to use. The perfection of one's life is realizing both these things. What am I meant for and what are the other things meant for? Okay, verse 37. Brahmanam kshatra Viduru Rangrihi Shrita Krishna Varnaha 
ನಾಭಿಜಯ ಗನೋಪಪ್ನೋ ದ್ರವ್ಯಾತ್ಮಕ ಕರ್ಮ ವಿತಾನ ಯೋಗ ದ ವಿರಾಟ್ ಪುರುಷ ಫೇಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ ರಾಮ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಹಿಸ್ ಥಾಯ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ವೈಶ್ಯಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಶೂದ್ರಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ ದ ಪ್ರೊಟೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಫೀಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ವರ್ಷಿಪುಲ್ ದ ಮೆಗಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓವರ್ ಟೇಕನ್ ಬೈ ಹಿಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಟು ಪ್ರಿಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಕ್ಯೂಸ್ ಮೀ ಸ್ಯಾಕ್ರಿಫೈಸಸ್ ವಿತ್ ಫೀಸಿಬಲ್ ಗುಡ್ಸ್ ಟು ಪೀಸ್ ದ ಲಾಡ್ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಬರ್ಸ್ ಟಾಕ್ಸ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಅ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಿಟಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ದ ವಿರಾಟ್ ರೂಲ್ ಸೊ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಮಿಡಲ್ ಅಪರ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ರಿ ಸಿಸ್ಟಮ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ದ ವೇರಿಯಸ್ ಆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಫ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಟೀರಿಯಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ದ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಬರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಕ್ವಾಡ್ರ ಪೆಡ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ the humans the superhumans the gandharvas the devas and now it is talking about the chaturvarnya so what is chaturvarnya so so superficially it is brahman kshatriya vaishya shudra but it is essentially the the qualities of the person the propriety of the person so essentially what this verse is saying is that not only the people but the nature is also a reflection of the virat rule when one becomes a brahman the brahmanical qualities are a reflection of the virat rule when one sees valor and kshatriya they are well they, they are fighting with a lot of chivalry and battle and then one thinks how great is krishna that he has endowed these warriors with that with that prowess <clears throat> so shri prabhupada also he picks up on this uh, part of the verse which says that all the worshipful demigods are also overtaken by him and the duty of everyone to perform sacrifices is to appease the lord so commenting on this part of the verse shri prabhupada says that monotheism is practically suggested here offering sacrifices to many demigods under different names is mentioned in the vedic literatures but the suggestion made in this verse is that all those varieties of demigods are included in the form of the supreme personality of god they are only the parts and parcels of the original whole similarly the divisions of the orders of the human society namely the brahmanas kshatriyas vaishyas and shudras are also included in the body of the supreme as such sacrifice by everyone in terms of pleasing the supreme lord by feasible goods is recommended later on shri prabhupada actually writes in italics for emphasis human society therefore and this is where the italics start must learn to offer sacrifices not only with clarified butter but also with other manufactured goods in the propagation of the lord's glory and that will bring about perfection in human society so prabhupada essentially is here talking about the principle of yukta vairagya that uh, one should not think that yagya is sitting in front of wife in front of fire and offering ghee 